Hello, I'm Isaac Ostrom. I'm a licensed tile contractor from Northern California. I've been licensed since 2002, so I've seen a lot of things. Well, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I had one of my viewers send me a video of a Schluter Curdy test with Ardex 8 plus 9 over it. As many of you know, that's my preferred waterproofing method. I like Schluter products, I like Schluter drains, I like the membrane itself. What I don't like about it is that the thin set wicks water underneath the band. So as a fail stop, I put Ardex 8 plus 9, which I also really like. I really like the flexibility of it. I really like that it's two part, that it's a, that it's a chemical reaction, that when you mix the two, the 8 plus the 9, it, that's what makes it cure. So in about 30 minutes, you can walk on it, um, apply the second coat, and within four hours you can water test it. So I really like the two products combined. You've seen it on a lot of my videos. If you haven't, check out some of the videos I've made on it and I will put those links up so you can see it. So I had a viewer named Matt Murray. I'll put the link to his actual video in the description so you can see the whole video. I've edited out through some of the parts but I really wanted you guys to see this. This is really cool. I love the idea of you guys sending me videos. My hope for my channel is just like a wealth of knowledge that we have this huge base of installers around the country, around the world that are giving feedback so that we can find out how products work in the real life, what you like about certain products, what you don't like about others. And I've learned so much from you guys over the last year or so with your input, both in leaving the comments in the section below, um, calling me, emailing me, finding me on Instagram at Tile Coach. And so if you would like to make any video that you want me to see, I want you to go ahead and make it. All you need to do, upload a high resolution video, try to make it as good of quality as you can, and email me at 916tile at gmail.com. Send it over in a Google Drive link or some other file sharing device because these files get really big. You can't just email a video directly. Um, you have to create some kind of, you either have to do it in a Dropbox. I prefer Google Drive, that seems to be the easiest. So if you're working on a project and you want me to check it out and maybe even put your video on my channel, make those videos, send them to me and I can go over them. I can tell you what I like about your video. I can tell you what I don't like about your video. And it'll just be a really cool way for us to all share knowledge. Everybody helping each other come up with the best methods for our industry. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get going on this video. It's really interesting what you're gonna find out about Shooter Curdy with Ardex 8 plus 9 over it. You don't wanna miss this video. Okay, so here we go. Um, you can see he's getting his paper down. Uh, right off the bat, I can tell he's a Schluter guy. He's got Dietra. He's making four samples here. He's using Schluter's All Set, and he's got a little piece of curdy board. Now he's applying the All Set, and he's doing four little test patches. He's doing um, two of them with the thin set really thin and pushed all the way out, and he's doing two of them that are a little bit thicker, that he's leaving a little more thin set under there to, to get check out that variable there. So he's got his four samples and um, he told me he let these dry for 48 hours before he put the uh, 8 plus 9 on. So he's letting them cure, let them dry for uh, two days. Now he's putting the 8 plus 9 over as you see I do in my videos. So here are my test samples. Number one, using Schluter All Set. Is put on thin. Most of the thin set has been squeezed out. Number two, same all set, but I did not squeeze very much of the thin set out. It just collapsed the notches. Number three is thick with Ardex, so I didn't push the thin set out. I just collapsed the notches and then put two coats of Ardex over the recommended time. And number four, is the same so it's all set thin squeezed it out just like number one and two coats of Ardex and I'm going to do the test now and submerge them under water and I will get something to set on those I have a two by four and Pushing the samples down got a 15 pound weight 15 looks like he's using Raymondi leveling clips 
Okay. Good. We use 24 them hour test. Okay, so 24 hours. Okay, he's got him in there for 20, 24 hours, and he's going to dry him off. Real important to get everything dried off. Um, that's one thing I do in my tests, so there's no residual water. So you can see they're pretty dry. So the first one is all set with thin. Here he goes, he's pulling it off. This is 24 hours after it's been submerged. So almost all of it is wet. Oh, so the thin, you can literally immediately tell that it's only got about, uh, let's say about a half inch. So again, I don't know the exact scale of his half of his curdy board and of an inch of dry. Everything else is, but I would say that's damp. a good two and a half inches of um, where the water penetrated. It's not yeah, like it's, wet. It's, it's definitely just, damp. You can tell that that is the only. So that scooter all set I, just thin, no Ardex eight plus nine over the it. Number one, where the thin set was pretty much pushed all the way out, and you can even see on the back of this where it's only dry right by my thumb. You can kind of see where it's... So I think it's really cool that he's doing he's thick and thin. Orange. Because like I had wet. a lot of viewers say that could have been what, wet, I, was, but you can what tell, I was doing wrong. Obviously with the, the white versus that white yep. and this. You can tell it's Now wet. we're going with the thick. The two is the Schluter all set put on thicker. And so the thick is actually worse. Yeah, the, the more so that's all the way wet. The more thin set in Put is in there. I can the, feel the, the moisture more in it. that the more it's going to soak up. The more thin set, the more it'll soak up. So here's the one with the eight plus nine over it. Dried them off really good. Okay, so. This one's the number four, and the thin set was thin on this one, if you recall. This is what's interesting here. And the water, water made still it in. made it in. But here's the thing. That's so dry. Better, this is all wet, you can tell. But I would still say it's kind of inconclusive because this runs to the edge, and the edge has the ability to have migrate water migrate in so still not a good test it, it, if i would have put the ardex around the sides and completely waterproof this whole this whole sample i would say it wouldn't have wouldn't have failed this is the heavy and you can see clearly that it made its way into this one as yep. well but again i'm going to say that's as a result of these edges allowing water to get behind them. And you can see as I peel this Ardex off, it's definitely got behind the Ardex. So the Ardex never had a chance because I can, I'm, as I'm peeling this back, it's wet. This is all wet. So I, I'm, a, I'm gonna say that it made its way to it just like that did. So uh, maybe next test I'll do, I'll fully cut, well I don't have any more Ardex. So if anybody's out there that wants to do a uh, all set, a Schluter all set test, thin and this thick, is... and then fully encapsulate. So the this this was part one. So was, he's going to do another test from the edge in. I don't. I should have thought about that, but I didn't. That would say that'd be a better test, but it's still wet. So yeah, is what it is. So now we got part two. Okay. Got my Ardex A plus nine mixed. Got my samples. Put the shooter all set. On in different thicknesses. <clears throat> and as you can see, this one was thin. Rest better spread. Yeah, I think we can all agree at yeah, this all point. Set. You want to get it Basically as thin as possible. The, uh, the more material you can get knife. out from under the band, the Stick. better. One of the reasons why so I mix my thin set really is. loose, you'll see in my videos where um, I mix my thin set where I can almost pour it out. This one's thin. 
but I cut back so that I can get the Ardex down in here to prevent the uh, water from seeping in in between an Ardex. Yeah, so he notched the, the he membrane. notched those pretty boards out so that the Ardex 8 plus 9 could seal all the way between the foam and so that it doesn't create that pathway for the water to get under the fleece. He's wearing socks and knee pads here, which is kind of funny, but um, to each his own. <laughs> he's uh, getting the 8 plus 9 over it. Again, it looks like he's being really careful to get the 8 plus 9 overlapped onto the foam. Again, the fleece on the curdy is what allows sealants to travel under it. So a lot of people think that you can just seal up one small part of curdy, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. And one of the reasons I wanted to show this video is because I see this done a lot on Instagram. I see a lot of people doing it. And it's just... you you're not creating a tight seal if you're putting any kind of sealant over a polyethylene fleece membrane. It's that fleece that allows water to travel underneath the sealant. And the, the fleece is needed. That's, that's the mechanical property that allows thinset to bond to it well. So, Okay, so it looks like he's got his uh, samples dried and ready to rock and roll. And now, going back into the bucket. So I think he had mentioned that he put these samples in the bucket and then forgot about them and came back like three or four days later. So these have been sitting under there a while. So he dried it off real good. I don't know if Matt's using a GoPro here or what. A little, little jumpy, but... So... Dry. So you can see how this one's dry, completely dry. That is thin, all set with the Ardex 8 plus 9 on it. It looks like it's shiny, but that is dry. Yep, when you, when you seal up the whole thing, it will be dry. I'll show you. You'll notice in, in my method, I use Dent Shield or other fiberglass mat back tile backer board, which is actually waterproof. It doesn't have the fleece on it. So when we wrap everything up the wall and we're, we're sealing against the Dent Shield, that's creating a waterproof seal. If it was going against Curdy board, it's not gonna be sealed. So here's number two. Number two, all set. That's the thick all set. So this shouldn't really make a difference whether it's thick or not because it, it's completely encapsulated with waterproofing. So another dry sample. So we're two for two now. But but stay tuned because we have one that um, has some water that gets under it and he's going to tell you why that happened. Number three, with the thin all set, and then I cut back to prevent water getting from behind, but actually encapsulating these work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is probably gonna be dry as well. So he notched it out a little bit to try to expose more of the foam, it looks like, but that doesn't seem to make a difference. As long as you wrap it over onto the styrofoam. So dry that it's looking powder up. Oh, From there. that one's completely dry. So we're three for four. Turn set. So number three is dry. This is this is conclusive with all of my testing know. too. Four. So I'll cut back. But I'll, again, I encourage yeah, you guys to do these set. yourselves so you know for yourself. These are really simple tests to do. It doesn't take much material. Now, I'm not going to lie. You already, 
Yeah, he said these, these have been, been in here for, for four, four days. days. So like four days submersion, and for four those days. are bone dry. Now watch this one. Watch what happens with this one. Any shower, I'm getting wet. Ah, look at this. This is the only. So we water. had water come through. It's a but he's going to show you what happened. Now, that could be a couple of reasons. His voice reminds me of Star Tile. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way he shoots his videos side. or something, but... Uh, in one corner. Maybe this is Star Tile. Maybe he's using an alias. It could be. Okay, so that's what it is. So, if you look... No, yeah, well, maybe not. It could have gotten behind anywhere in the corner, maybe, like a pinhole. Like there's a, what appears to be a pinhole. Yeah, there's and the pinhole. You see white right there. So there's a pinhole, and that's why that got wet. And there's the other, there's the other pinhole. And there's a pinhole. Right there. So, I did not get full coverage of the Ardex. So that right so there. So that's how small that of, of a pinhole get can make Ardex such a big difference, in, whether it's waterproof or, or not. It was a bubble and it allowed water to. But three or four is pretty dang this. good. So if you're using shooter or curdy board with patches over the screws, I would suggest investing in the Ardex 8 plus 9 and you can get one of these little kits here. This, this covered, I had to get two of these, mm -hmm. two of these to cover my entire shower and you saw in the, in the video how big my shower is. I covered the entire floor, the wall with, with uh, two coats and that will make your actual shower waterproof. Schluter Systems Curdy Board and patches will make it water resistant. And obviously in between showers, that's supposed to dry out. However, we take a lot of showers and I'm building the shower because I love taking showers, especially full body wash. It doesn't like taking a shower. There's gonna be, and I usually take uh, two, maybe three showers a day. Two or three might I be do. a lot there's going to be uh, hardly any downtime for that to dry. So Ardex 8 plus 9 over Schluter Systems, Curdy Board, or overlap the seams of Curdy Wrap to prevent the water from getting behind there and causing any damage. Ardex 8 plus 9, you're never gonna have that problem as long as you fully coat everything. Okay, so in conclusion, um, what I've been seeing people do is I'll see them do their pan and they'll just cover seams. And I get that question a lot. Can I just go over my, I go over my corners with like red guard or any kind of roll on waterproofing. Well, that doesn't really do it because water can still seep in from underneath and get behind it. So you basically need, I would recommend waterproofing everything up six to 10 inches up the wall and then I don't think you really need to worry about much except for the niches in the sills. And so that's why you see we do it that way on our videos. Again, these are very simple tests to do. This didn't take a lot of money for him to do. Uh, so I encourage you guys out there, test your methods before you do them. Because you get into doing things like I do. I, I have my own ways of doing things. Pretty much every installer out there is doing some methods that are crisscrossing manufacturers or whatever. If you're doing that, make sure you test your products so you know how they work. So anyways, I hope you like this video. Again, for the full video, uh, go, go see Matt Murray's page. I'll put that link in the description so you can see it. And again, if you would like your video to be on my channel, send me an email at 916tile at gmail.com. Uh, find me on Instagram at tilecoach. Drop me a line, let me know and we'll figure out how to get your video up here. So I would love to see your progress videos. If you're doing your own project, uh, send me that video. I can critique it. I can help you as we go along. But yeah, send me those videos.
This has been fun. I hope this opens up something that we can all do together. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I love you. I love making these videos. We'll see you on the next one.